up and running again. But I want to um, have this discussion about Serpy and um, and Vibes Cartel. So this, this as you see, me, me, um, me caption it. Um, Serpy versus Vibes Cartel. You see? No. Everybody's supposed to know the story I read with Vibes Cartel. He's sentenced, um, I think, to 30 years in prison for the murder of um, Clive Lizard. I don't know if I Lizard him last name, but Clive something something. The youth named Lizard. So he, sent, he was sentenced, he and um, Sean Storm and some other um, accused, in, you know, to 30 years are there about in prison. So they appealed their case to the Privy Council, and the Privy Council is um, still, I guess, you know, going over whatever, still debating or whatever they're doing, um, are deliberating. So what I found interested um, with Serpy, I found something really interesting with Serpy. I figured it a while ago. I figured him out. I figured out his. He has a he has, he has a, a bit of ego, where I think he's not doing his service any justice. Because of course you know maybe we have some you know maybe Sir P is a man who really care about a better Jamaica. You understand? Maybe he care about a better Jamaica, but I think his ego, you know, seems to be getting the best of him. And um, his emotional outburst and his way, you know, how to appeal to emotion of his of his audience, his niche market. And I think it is, you know, evident in, in this situation. I pictured it, I saw it a long time ago, you know, and I spoke about it. And of course, you know, the audience and his followers, even two lakhs and twins of twins, Twin of twins, eh? you know, um, you know, stood by him when I pointed it out. I would love to hear two locks take now on, on, on what Sir P is actually saying regarding this Vibes Cartel um, appeal here with the Privy Council. And kind of, you know, silent on this when it comes down to Sir P and, and, and what he is positing. Yeah? No. I kind of figure out Sir P from a while ago, you know. Cause I, used to, I used to subscribe to the platform when he used to speak about the, you know, the stock, he yeah, watched them and them bad man, the Sandukan, them and them thing. I did find them thing interesting. Because, you know, we grew up hearing about them bad man, they so, or them gangsters. So it was, you know, interesting to hear about what really happened or what. Bucky Marshall, the man, them thing there. So I subscribed, subscribed to the platform them time there, but when I realized that this is, this is turning into something different, you know, I kind of take on myself until I, you know, he, he put out a video claiming that you, you, Mike's, wrote Get a Story. And when I challenged him on it, he went on his platform and you know, of course, his verbiage was not kind. You understand me? I say, man, my audience had a field day. Only to embarrass himself, which everyone who has any sense knows that he totally embarrassed himself, trying to double down on his findings about Ghetto Story. In so doing, he posted the artwork for you, Mike's. The artwork from 1980, or, or 81, and the artwork had on 876 on the phone number. Lo and behold, we were not using 876 in 81 or 80. But what happened? He still had the video up. He didn't apologize. He didn't retract his statement. He still had the videos up. 
Yeah, because his ego would not allow him to say, you know what? I was wrong on this one. Yeah. All right, it's because I will uh, talking point. Yeah? Because I will talking point. So, of course, in my audience, they are very anti Vegas. Very anti, you know, them claims, say. Eh? You know? Yeah. My bad mind, sir. But I think in this case, even the same audience are the same people them that were bashing me. Some may agree with me in, in, in this instance. Why? I remember Sir P saying, if it were a case where Vibes Cartel was found not guilty, he would have accepted the verdict. I, if I'm wrong, somebody correct me. But I swear is that I heard him say. I, I could swear I heard him in a, some clip, some something, let me see. Imhotep or somebody share with me. Where he said, if the man was found not guilty, he would have accepted the verdict because what? Of the justice system. And even if, even if the case where he did not accept the verdict, right? That would not, you know, be, you know, that would be against the code, the letter of the law, the code, the, the um, constitutional right where somebody have, you know? But in this case now, it's like Sir P a panic, or like he, he would not accept the verdict if the Privy Council rule, rule uh, um, on a retrial or rule to let the man them go. Based on the technicality, you know, you know, you know, part of the, 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 the whole case. Right? Now we have to understand people. We have to understand. We have to understand that. When you go in when when, 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 when you go in front of the court, you go in front of the court, the defense, no matter if a man committed the act, right? No matter if a man committed the act, yes or no, the defense, they're going to use everything that they can use to exonerate the, 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 the person that they're representing. You understand? They're going to try to do everything to win the case, to, get, to let the person off of the case. And some of the things that they may do is look for loopholes or whatever. Them can do. That them go school for. That are what them study law for. See? It is up to the prosecution to put forward a better argument and the jury of them to see it through the eyes of the prosecution or see it through the eyes of the defense. That's how you go, you know. That's how you go, people. So if the defense comes with a better argument and the and the people them see it through the eyes of the defense, then the, 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 the juror may set the man free. I set the woman free, I set the person free. If they see it through the eyes of the prosecutor, they send the man to prison. I may send the man to prison, right? That's how you go. Now in this case, a lot of technical, um, you know, technicality is involved. Why? One of the jurors, according to information, according to what he went to jail, he's in prison for. He tried to meddle in the process. Yeah? He tried to manipulate the process. So that's a quick synopsis. They said he got some he got paid to bribe the other jurors then. Right? So they, he accepted bribes. Right? According to them. Now what the Privy Council is looking at, the Privy Council is looking at, should the case have been dismissed or retried? 
That is what the Privy Council is looking at. And they may very well come back and say, this case needs to be retried. Which a lot of people are believing that this will be the case. Why? Because you do not know how deep or how compromised the other jurors were based on what this one juror did. Let me explain that. This one juror will come in and say, yo, me get some money, you know, and whatever. Or, me not find the man guilty, you know, because of Jesus thing me depend, you know, I believe in a God, you know, me not find the man guilty because all sin and fall short of the glory. Zane? The four woman took it upon herself. Listen this here, you know, because nobody not talk about the party, you know. The four woman took it upon herself. And recorded the juror. The man. Now, if you listen to that recording, where well, Sir P himself played, is a lot of questions surrounded that recording. A whole heap of questions. If you go and listen to it, I can't play it. See? Come in one and flag my page. But go and listen to the recording. In the recording, you hear the the woman, it seems, and the man, it seems, are discussed the payment. So the four women said to the man, say, allegedly, got a record in me here, in the body there. The four women allegedly said to the man, say, based on the recording, what is in it for me? That she said to him, man, you know, what is in it for me? She went on to say, so you, no ramp with me, you know, because how much may I get? Something along the line there. How much am I going to get? The man said, $500,000, allegedly. She said, where are you get the money from? Forgive me. See? The man said, no, like the man that said, no worry about that man. No worry about that man. Yeah, man, Clive Brian, we listen to everybody, man. We learn from everybody, man. And we listen to him every day, see him, see But, yeah, man, you don't know what bridge name share it to God when you see it. When, 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 a scholarship we deal with, man. We don't talk about things and I listen to it. So, I don't want to talk about it if I never listen to it. So, I don't know if that's supposed to mean anything. Yeah. So, the, the woman, and, and for FYI, this is a part, this is public record, I guess. Or, I don't know. It's not something where him alone privy to. So, the woman, I said to the, 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 the compromised juror, the alleged compromised juror, why not it to me? Where you going to get the money for me? So hold on, let me get it straight. So you want me to this hard that and you want me to find them not guilty and me get 500,000 and them they attack it out, attack it out, attack it out. That in itself, you know, problematic, you know. That in itself problematic, you know. That leading, you know. That leading, you know. If the man did it have one proper, if the man did never plead guilty, you know, him could have said other woman they come to him with the argument first, you know. Based on where we hear from the tape, you know. Go back and listen to it tape. The recording. That man they could have said, you know, say she come to me with the argument. And tell me if you link up the man, the man Ray Ray, blah blah blah. Ask me if I don't know nobody. She could have the man could have flipped, you know. And turn it around, you know. Why? Because she set up herself if that happened. 
when she has said to the man, say, what is in it for me? That's a problem. Trust me. A good liar. Yeah. With a pine finger upon she too. I said, oh, they were working together, but because she had cold feet, she run to the, the judge. Boom. Them can't prove. So she never did a work with the man, you know. Because we heard her on the record and asked the man what is in it for her. You see? That's a trouble. That's a problem. What should have happened was when the man approached her, and maybe the other people, them, them should have reported to the judge or whosoever or oversee them. Then they would have set up a proper sting operation. And guess what would happen? Maybe them that catch more people. No, we wouldn't have a situation to figure out if it's really cartel people them link the man. Because remember, so we only assume. Remember, say, Sir P, them are deal with scholarly reasoning, you know, and they put themselves out there as intellects, you know. So once you present yourself as an intellect, you know, you come under scrutiny. Remember, say, we only are uh, only assuming. Say, a card. Yo, yo, oh, yo, yeah, man, yo, yeah, man, you think me a dunce, you think me a fool? Uh, yo, yeah, man, yo, yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, and, 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 more of that, where am I sitting? Some sitting. Yeah, but that's just your personal feeling. That's just your personal feeling. That not work in a courthouse. You have to prove, say, a cartel, pay the jewel. You have to prove, says, not this man here, yeah, is a diarded fan. Like, case in point, I know some bunty killer fan, you know. Where I kill, where I kill me female. You know. We never meet him yet, you know. They will kill me female. You know. Yeah, man. I know some man get up every day and put on them camera and vlog. I may never say M. I'll just, when we just say no, they might go, somebody will take it and post it. I say, yeah, man, I want to be a star, style the monster. Die at it. Me and you can always say, yeah, man. You can go out take people, idiot. No, but that no work in a court. We personal assumption, we believe them, no work in a courthouse. So it is not confirmed that is cartel or cartel lawyers or cartel family or cartel people them pay this man but if the poor woman had gone about it the correct way maybe she never knew a better way then would I get to the bottom of it them not investigated set up a sting operation And nab more people. And nab. Because. Let's say it is this man really, really link somebody and get the money. I was working with somebody. Him alone now work. You see? Him alone wouldn't be working. Maybe would that, would, would, it would have lead to a bigger finding, you know. Maybe all the man will use the phone. In the in the in the in the in the where the phone when the phone was in um, the custody of the police them maybe that thing had a connect to all the man we use all the phone and do things that are going on with the final two corrupted police in the in the in the sting operation you know forget forget, forget to kick them out of the force you know or send them to prison you know maybe we'll find two corrupted liars you know to send them to prison you know it was not handled properly. The money can't deny that. So based on what we hear, I hear how the lady was speaking. She was the poor woman. She go back to the people. Then. Because members said she members said the woman, you know. She become a detective. And she became a detective. She started 
deal with the matter herself. Watch out, people. So she go back now. Oh, we know so she not go back to the next, the next, the next jewelry, man. Say. You know, so I just record him a little while. And he promised me 500,000 for saying the man is not guilty. The man is give money, you know. You know, Jamaican people talk already. You know, so the man is link him and pay him to find the man is not guilty. That, subconsciously, well, we still can't prove that neither. But we don't know. That could play a role subconsciously in them decision. And that is the problem the people, in short. Even though we have to go around one bag of gully and gully and come up and this the at this the problem the people. Right in our everything when we just say, look while that look closing there, at this the problem there. This is where the problem lies, people. We cannot prove say the other jurors them were not compromised in the sense. See? Of Knowing that this man, quote unquote, got paid to vote not guilty, had to set the man him free. So, oh, him, oh so they might link him to find that guilty. All right, so him guilty. It I come like, yo, your teeth out the sugar, you know. Let me give you simplified. Your teeth out the sugar, you know. No, me no teeth, no sugar. Then we are wash your hand for. Oh, me no. That's so a wash me hand. So you your teeth not now you wash your hand. Oh man, that's dirty and uh, so what the You don't know. We don't know. You might wash your man, you go down never teeth the sugar fit you. But we catch my washing hand. And the sugar gets stolen and we are say, you are most teeth your teeth out the sugar and why you wash your hand, you know. So we are say, I must guilty the man and guilty for you pay your money. You don't get what I say? Make sense? So you don't know how that played a role into them decision. So the judge, understandably, yeah, decides to continue with the trial. Because they spent days upon days trying this case. And a lot of tax dollars money pay up on all of these things. But the all the lawyers, including the DPP, in my view, they knew this was going to be a problem. Even the judge. They knew if Cartel got this to the Privy Council, there was going to be a problem. And what the Privy Council said when they were presenting the arguments, what did the judge, the, 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 the higher court said? What they said? They said you cannot look at it that way to say it's going to cost money and it's going to be a black eye on the justice system. If that is what you're fearful of, write legislation to prevent it. That's what they say. No? They say write legislation to prevent it. So, will a car tell them kill the man, yes or no? That is not what we're talking about here. We're talking about a fear trial. A fear verdict. That's what we are talking about. Were the other ten subconsciously yeah? Did they subconsciously deliberate? No one said a Monday. Pay money. So, he must be guilty. We don't know. And it's that part of the problem. We don't know. And because we don't know, it just comes like it as a guilty without a reasonable doubt. From there is doubt, you have to acquit. As so the justice system set up. If there is any doubt, no matter how the argument presented and you show this and show that, once there is any doubt, you must acquit. And that is the problem here, people.
So me understand, Sir P, them frustrated because he have all of the quote unquote video footage and all of them things here. Yeah, enough people frustrated too. Enough people want cartel to prison and enough people want to see him free. And people like me, me have to respect the process. Me can't go tell us that the man is still in prison. And the man not forget a fair trial. Me can't come, come. That would not be an objective part of, of, of the conversation. What we do, Bridget, we appeal to emotion. What we do, we get emotionally attached to the thing. You see? That's the problem. So, you know, I make whatever you know have against God tell them, clothed in the judgment, you know. And the people, them, the people, them, may see it. The people, them, may not think everybody are idiot. People understand, say, yeah, man, a good I am do it for you, you know. But you see that thing, the name, a good I am do it for you. Yeah, you have to quit. Because you're assuming. Yeah, man, a good I am pay the jury, you know. No, that can't work in a court. You have to find evidence. Evidence. You see, if they had set up a sting operation and it led right back to cartel or cartel lawyers or whatever, maybe they would have a better argument. Because they would say, see, this is what he did. The money came from here. The money was withdrawn from here. Make all the, make all the jury pay all the money. Make all the money pay. And you see the line of transaction. Let me tell you something with Jamaica justice system. Weak. There were people like me for run the justice system. Yeah. Them not a proper, them incompetent when it comes down to investigating cases in Jamaica. Them, the, the, the more I go back to school. Yeah. They want to try this with some detective in America and England. Some people will take them work seriously. This could not have a little woman. Yeah, so why not it for me? You got the money? You get the money from me. No, that leading. She has put words in the man's mouth. Huh? She was putting words in the man's mouth. You can't deny that. We hear that. We are not idiots. We are not idiots. Cartel fans them can pounce from that and say, See it! As she has tried to set up the man. Go listen to it, people. I was disappointed in another recording. Them should even make that them should even make that see the light at the end. She took it upon herself. You know, some people get a little position and feel like they have a show authority. That's what happened. The four woman got a little position. She became the four woman and say, Oh, our four man, maybe a four man they call the woman him too. And she just decided that, oh, she's gonna show her strength. She's gonna show her muscle. Oh. I'm going to catch him. I'm going to... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The man could have just said, you know, said, two we did a planet. And she turned against me. Yeah, man. And she come to me with the idea, you know. Me did just go along with it. Yeah. Maybe I lie. But maybe but a female argument versus fear argument. Cause we heard her saying, what is in it for me? So we have to get the money from. No matter ramp with me, you know, those are words that she used. She used those words. No matter ramp with me, you know. So what you say? If me find them not guilty, me get five hundred thousand. Yes, the problem that people. Sir P, me hear me use a football analogy. Him say, what is 10-1? Ten 10-1 uh, ten no mean nothing. Eh? If a man score 10 goals and a man score 1 goal, what it mean? It don't mean nothing. No, this is not a football match, brother. Okay. And a score where I keep. But of course, you can feel your audience, them nonsense. Thing. And come off like, yeah man, teacher, professor, 
That don't make no sense. And even if we go with your analogy, let's go with your analogy. If a football team beat a side 10 1, or no, a great football team lose 10 1 to a team. 10 1. You say, yo, let me lose 10 1. Come on, what you mean? The man they play better ball than the year they start. The man they never did a play nothing. Ten one them get. What you mean? So the eleven them get. Ten one. We need to check a stack. Two years. We find what's it. A money the coach get. Wrong wrong. Are we gonna say, no man, the ball of them play out them heart, man. Them never know about no money pay. Oh, them hear about it in about you don't know. No people are gonna say, yo, all the play of them get paid too. Yo, you think they never get nothing at all? Yo, them boy, they get money too. All them fellows, 10 1. We don't know. What happened to the match? They might go for the match. And they might go ban the team. Say if you're going to football analogy, brother. You know, you know me, doesn't it? If you don't believe in a rule, uh, rule, rules and laws, you don't have to allow the process. Your personal feelings cannot come enter into this bridging, our bridging, our history. When a personal feelings cannot come into it, my personal feelings cannot come into it. Yeah, it's it's the That's why the mama justice system. That's why people bust keys all the time. The, it's the letter of the law. Was it unethical? That is what the man decided. We will know that in a few months, a few weeks, a few days. We will know what the ruling is. So when that, them say them to get that retrial, or if a retrial, we will know. But we still have to respect the process. Because the justice system, the Privy Council, all of them sitting there, intertwined. The Jamaica justice system and the Privy Council are one system people. They just, them are with Zaddy. Them are with, them are with, them are with Big Daddy. But them have the final say. Because in the case like in, 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 in Trinidad, I think 10 men were, you know, set free because they appealed their case. They were on death row. Can you not train that still have a death row? They were on death row. They appealed their case. Found out that one of the person lied. Maybe there's somebody will lie, you know. It have nothing to do with the case, you know. Maybe they had evidence. Maybe they had DNA. Maybe they had forensic linking, but somebody lied. And the Privy Council said, okay, you should have done proper investigation. Somebody lied, and you took it as evidence. Boom, man and God and them yard. All of them, except one who have a different charge, an unrelated case. That's, how the, the, that's a part of the system where we have. That's a part of the system where we have. Unless you deal with jungle justice, as a man do something, you just carry him out of the square and stone him. So whether I'm right or I'm wrong, he's just dead. What's that? But when you deal with court rules, rules and laws, brother, you have to understand you're part of the system. So if Vibes Cartel see how, a, 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 a way how to get his appeal through, we have to respect the process. Because guess what? The Privy Council is there to take his case. This is not like Andrew Wolness. I try to get some vote and set him free. This is like, like Mark Golden become president, prime minister and set him free. Where people can say, yo, you know, so the man criminal. No, this where we have the Privy Council. It is there for people to appeal their cases. Some are successful, some are not. And so you go. Is a part of the justice system. 
And if we're not respectable, citizen. If we're not respectable, I want to say we're not patriotic and all of these things. I want to ask you a better Jamaica. We not can't just get in on the feelings because his vibes can't tell. Because an innocent youth may want the same privilege to appeal his case or her case to the Privy Council. Based on technicalities. We have to tell the person, say, oh, we don't want a Privy Council. No, no that because vibes can't tell if you appeal his case, we don't want a Privy Council. So I never say that with all of the other people, them, we appeal to the Privy Council. You see? We cannot look at the man's status, Reggie. We cannot factor in his status. I don't even think the people on the board of the Privy Council care about Vibes Carter's status. I don't think they care. Maybe them do even know who names up. You see what I say? So as people will present to themselves as intellect and scholars, Reggie, who don't have to do better than that? I understand that the audience will gobble up anything and bash people and come after people where dissecting the reasoning or analyzing the reasoning. But understand, Virgin, if we put forward foolishness, people like me, Imhotep, you know, Robert them, you know, Miss Julie them, we are going to see it and dissect it. You see? Here's the link. Um, I just posted the link if anybody wants to jump on. Imhotep, see the link there, Robert, see the link there. We just posted about that. You see? So they are, they are link goes like this. You, you, you have to understand, you know. We may see a man guilty of a crime, you know. If the man come on road, if, if, if we think the man guilty, and the man get, you know, the man is exonerated. You think say, me can't call him a murderer? If he was found not guilty, because me thinks I'm guilty. No, I'm, that's like that, 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 that's defamation, people. That's a fat lawsuit. Why? Because we have a justice system where we have to respect. So if you don't respect the process and go call the man criminal, or call the man thief, and they found the man not guilty, then the man can't sue you. Which part of sue you? You know the same system. We're just trying. Maybe the prosecutor think him guilty now. You know the prosecutors them come forward and say, when them lose a case, I do not believe. Keyword. Believe. They got it right. However, I respect the justice system, the process. Them have to say that. That's the way them go to school and learn. Them can't come forward and say, yo, me know I'm guilty now, I'm killed the man. No. They must set up themselves to be sued. Understand? Here, sister. You hear me? Loud and clear. Come yeah, on, why is it? So basically, that I'm a burn. Um, what says though?